Hey, this is James Wise with Holton Wise. Today we are standing in front of a four unit apartment building. Let's dive in. Seven four Luxor, East Cleveland. <laughs> now, now I know you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just? Did James Wise just say East Cleveland? Yes, yes, I did just say East Cleveland. And if you've been following my content for years and years, I've been saying that East Cleveland is an F-class neighborhood, and you should avoid investing in East Cleveland. And I shoot you guys straight, and I am not backpedaling on that statement. Overwhelmingly, if you take a look at my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, East Cleveland is an F-class neighborhood, and I always advise cash flow investors to avoid it. A lot of cash flow investors, they see the super, super low prices, but I think the risk is too high for an out-of-state investor. But this quad right here, even though it's in East Cleveland, this is something totally different. You see, we are in a special little triangle of East Cleveland. This triangle is gonna border Cleveland Heights. We are standing only 463 feet away from the Cleveland Heights border. And there is natural geographic borders from a lot of the riffraff that you normally face in East Cleveland. You see, we got Superior, Mayfield, and then the Mayfield Cemetery. Right down the street over there in Cleveland Heights, Holton Wise has several properties just like this one, and we are renting them to Case Western grad students, and those are doing great for us and our investors. To demonstrate exactly how close this property is to Cleveland Heights, I'm gonna go to Cleveland Heights right now. I'll see you guys later. Now that I'm back from Cleveland Heights, let's take a look inside this building. Why don't you guys take a look in both garden floor units? Now, as you can see, those two downstairs units, they're not rent ready, but a lot of the main stuff is done. We just need to go in and put the finishing touches on. So finish up the painting, put some vinyl flooring over that concrete floor, clean it up, make sure the toilets work, all that kind of stuff. We're probably looking at a budget of about five to 7,000 per unit. And then when both those units are totally rent ready, we're gonna get $700 a month out of each of those units downstairs. So that's $1,400 a month. These units up top here, they're two beds, one bath. And being this close to Case Western, we should be able to achieve $900 a month in each of these units. All right, let's take a look at these upstairs units. Now this unit, same thing as those two downstairs that you already saw. We just need to put up the finishing touches. It looks rough right now, but if you look, you know, there's no holes in the drywall. The trim work is okay. The floor is rough. We just need to refinish it or put vinyl or, you know, same similar layout, except for these have an extra bedroom. So that's one bedroom. We actually walked in the back. Here you got a bathroom. In here we got a nice little laundry room, which also houses all the mechanicals. So you got your water tank, your furnace, the electric panel for this unit, as well as a washer and dryer hookup. It's nice that the tenants have their own space. They don't have any common or shared space. In here we got a kitchen, some old cheap linoleum. Those cabinets, we could refurbish and use those, but again, to get that high level rent, I'd love to replace those. And then finally, the huge 
Steve's living room. Now, the floors don't actually, they're not actually as bad as they might appear on video. The seller himself had his guys in and they did mud coat and they painted in here, but we would probably repaint. Honestly, I think the Holton Wise staff's gonna do a much nicer job. I don't think this is up to the standards we'd wanna present. In this particular unit, if we spend roughly eight to $10,000 to one of those college students. Now we're going to go into the final unit. That unit's interesting because the seller hasn't even got to it. You see the bottom two, as well as this one, he cleared his tenants out months ago and he kind of had you know, his crew in here trying to do some stuff and he kind of gave up on the project, just decided to sell the property. The final unit, he hasn't even moved the tenant stuff out. So this is gonna be what a unit's gonna be left like. Let's take a look. To my understanding, this tenant just up and moved out. He left a lot of his stuff. So, you know, same thing, same layout as the other unit. We got these hardwoods. Uh, you know, there's one bedroom there, second bedroom here, dated bathroom. Tenant's own private laundry room, as well as a dated kitchen. And then the huge living room. So even though it looks sloppy, looks messy in the video, <laughs> that's real estate investing, guys. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. I mean, this is what a unit's gonna look like when a tenant just up and moves out. What I don't see in this unit is damage. Yeah, it's messy, but that's just getting the crew in here to clean it out. And the same thing, you know, we totally repaint this thing. I like to go with the whitewash trim, get rid of this dated looking oak, refinish these floors dark just like we're going to do next door or possibly put vinyl allure since we're going to vinyl allure the downstairs get this thing nice and updated we'd be again in the eight to ten thousand dollar range so maximum rentability we can have 900 900 700 700 that's thirty two hundred dollars a month in rent but to get there we would need to spend eight to ten here eight to ten next door and then six to eight downstairs in each of those units so that's going to put us at between twenty-eight and thirty-six thousand dollars of renovation costs to bring in thirty-two hundred dollars a month in rent. To get an exact line-by-line -line bid to figure out the exact number, because again, this is just a ballpark from me, an investor, a broker. I am not an inspector. I am not a contractor. I am not going to crawl on the roof or crawl in crawl spaces. That's not my thing. That's what home inspectors are for. That's what the Holton Wise Construction staff is for. For more information on how to get an exact bid, I want you to click this video right here. All right, as we head on out of here, a few other things I want to hit. The annual tax on this, $3,500 a year. It was built in 1954. Now look, I know this thing looks a little bit rough, guys, but this is still an investment that I'm hot on. Number one, the neighborhood. We're right next to college. We're going to get those college rentals. For more information on how I feel about renting to college students, I want you to take a look at this video right here. On top of that, this thing is a quad, guys. Quads are the best of both worlds. We can achieve $3,200 a month in rent. That is commercial rents. But seeing as it's one to four units, it falls under 30 year residential financing. Other people's money, the ability to use other people's money is the most important thing when you're investing in real estate. And quads are gonna get you the very most rent with the very best 30 year financing terms. So anytime you have the opportunity to buy a quad, especially a quad in an area where you have unlimited tenant demand with grad students, you should hop on it. To buy this property, I want you to click the link above or below. Cleveland is one of the top rental markets in the entire US. Our prices are low, our rents are high. At Holton Wise, we are the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they're local, out of state or abroad. As real estate brokers, we can help you buy the properties. We even have referrals for lenders who can loan on investment properties to investors located in all 50 states. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe, secure, and every property will be delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. We also have full-service property management. We can handle all tenant placement, maintenance, construction, and repairs. One day, when you're ready to sell this investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland area, we can market your property 
in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of real estate investors looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. However, this property right... Thanks for watching the video. I'm James Wise, co-founder of Holton Wise. If you are interested in hearing more about me and my personal story, how I turned one investment property into a management portfolio valued over $50 million, I want you to go ahead and follow my personal Instagram, at HWPG. I want you to go ahead and click the subscribe button for more real estate deals and educational content, as well as check out some of the other videos we have throughout this channel. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing.